is your first alert five weather with Alex O'Brien. Well, it's been a Tuesday. I think we've all been craving hot, sunny and feeling a bit more like summertime, but unfortunately that's causing some problems with snow melt after very high percentage of snowpack across the state from winter into spring. But right now in Colorado Springs, nice 73 degrees, a little breezy still for sure. And as a whole, we'll be watching a cold front come in tonight. Stank breezy overnight, but as it does so, we'll give us some clouds waking up early on Wednesday morning. Might see a few sprinkles along this boundary into the plains, but not expecting widespread rain chances until Wednesday night. So by tomorrow morning, starting in the 40s and 50s, not a bad start by any means, but certainly cool. Grab a jacket as you're heading out. But then through the afternoon hours, we will be cooler thanks to that front. To the low to mid 70s for most of the lower terrain. Some 60s in higher elevations tomorrow. And also notice by around 4 p.m., we start to see those thunderstorms pop up. Most of this will be in mountainous terrain tomorrow and fairly isolated in nature. So Pueblo, Colorado Springs, low level chance at seeing any thunderstorms. Better chance in higher elevations for Woodland Park, Canyon City as well. You can see a thunderstorm tomorrow evening. Also towards Raton Pass picking up on more heavy precipitation. This is where we'll be watching for flooding on top of snow melt. So La Vida, Spring Burn Scar, you want to be extra cautious anytime you see a thunderstorm in your area. By Wednesday evening, most of this activity will be moving towards the east southeast. Might see a few stray showers and thunderstorms in the plains with a very low level severe weather threat tomorrow. 40s and 50s tonight with that cold front arriving and by tomorrow that takes us back down to the 70s for most about 70 for Colorado Springs, 77 Pueblo, La Junta and Lamar, 64 for Monument, 63 Woodland Park tomorrow. We still have that snow melt concern and now we are watching flood warnings in place for Avondale and for Canyon City. Right now just minor flooding conditions, but you got to be extra cautious. Make sure you're not playing around in the river unless you are an expert. Just stay safe as we're watching the snow melt continue. So we'll have a flood watch in place for the time being, probably through at least tomorrow. Still going to be warm enough to see snow melt. Most of this is technically to the west of our viewing area, but that flood watch is in place for the Rio Grande Basin. We'll want to watch that closely, especially for Alamosa. On your seven day forecast for Colorado Springs, we're going to see that cool down tomorrow, but warming right back up for Thursday, Friday to the 80s. We're putting an impact of a level two for Thursday, Friday and Saturday thunderstorm chances, followed by 70s into early next week. Pueblo do expect conditions to warm up 77 tomorrow, 86 Thursday and Friday 92 degrees, quite hot with evening thunderstorm chances in place. And Canyon City, what you can expect is conditions to climb again after tomorrow's cold front to near 90 by Friday with isolated thunderstorm chances carrying us into next week. Woodland Park isolated thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon cooler at 63 70s in store for Thursday and Friday and a quick check on your traffic this evening as you're heading out and about things are looking OK, certainly going to see some slowdowns in spots, but on your evening commute from Colorado Springs to Denver, about 63 minutes, fairly normal. The gap is all right so far at 15 minutes. Monument to Denver, 62 minutes. Things are running fairly smoothly. Of course, you might see those slowdowns. Academy northbound right now is running a little slower at 30 minutes. Elizabeth and Rob, back to you. Alex, thank you.